Hi guys! I feel like I have so much to catch everyone up on, so let's get right into it. If you might notice, we're in a different filming booth today. It is freaking windy, wait for it. You can somewhat see the peaks and we are in Flagstaff again. We have moved back up to Flagstaff for the summer and that's always fun and exciting. It's not summer yet, it's still spring. We're having our spring winds. So the weather's not the best today, but I am so looking forward to summer and just being outside. And when we come up to Flagstaff, we have my dad's cows and just so much more land that we can go ride colts and really get to work. So I'm really excited about that. We have been so busy behind the scenes and things have still been progressing. I haven't gotten to show everything off. So in this video, I kind of want to bring everyone up to speed and fill you in on what's going on. I'm going to get my mic set up. That way I can go ahead and take you around. We can say hi to all the horses while I'm bringing you up to speed and letting you know what upcoming plans we have. By the time you are watching this video, we will be headed to Erickson, Nebraska. We'll be actually on our way to Erickson, Nebraska for the Pizza Ranch Spring Sale 2023. And we are not buying or selling this year. Um, there was horses we thought maybe we'd put in the sale, but didn't end up doing that. We still want to go. We had the trip planned and we do haul some things if you need might be too late at this point, but if you need anything called back from the pits or sale to Arizona, go ahead and get in contact with us because we just do fill rates. We try to get our fuel paid for so we can go to Pitzers because we love it so much. And if people can get a horse hauled home and then help us pay for a fuel, win-win for both of us. Um, we'll be headed out there and you're not going to want to miss the Pitzer video. It's like they knew I was coming because they're all waiting, but these are all the yearlings plus Sid. Sid gets to hang out with them. Um, and they're in this pasture, which usually connects to that pen. They can go down the lane and go out to this pasture. We have them turned out for a specific reason. I will tell you, or I should say show you, the specific reason why we have them turned out. And big news, bringing you up to speed, Kenny Boy got the halter off. He is officially an unhaltered, touched, tamed, yearling, good citizen, kind of, still working on it, but we're making progress. <laughs> it is so windy out here, I'm having to hold my hat on and keep the mic away from the wind, otherwise I listen back and like, you can hear screeches of wind, so we'll do the best we can, but let's say hi to everyone and try to give them a piece of totally going nibble if they want. Here's Wasabi! Look at how light he's got he knows he can smell it i got something i'll give him a little nibble there you go look at how his coat has changed i know you want some sid but this isn't for you i'll give you treats later all right now we got rooster oh my gosh rooster are you looking so handsome look at that beautiful brand coming in and his coat so blue Oh, you're such a handsome boy. You want some total equine? Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Sully and Kenny are on mission to go back to the water of the crane. I don't know if they haven't seen me yet. Should I get their attention? Sully! I'm coming to say hi! And Kenny. I can always count on Sully. Okay, you can kind of see why Sully's on the pasture right now. Hey, silly, here you go. Good boy. Reason they are all turned out is because they got them nuts chucked off. So these guys, Kenny also, 
check on you. He's a little swollen. And Wasabi, let's check on you. Yep, you're a little swollen as well. A little swollen. Okay, that's kind of an invasion of privacy, but thank you for letting me do that. Hi, Kenny. You officially don't have a halter on. Good boy. Can you believe how friendly Kenny got so fast? He loves scratches now. Oh yeah, he loves scratches. <laughs> it loves scratches. Okay, Rooster. Let me tell you something about Rooster though. You, mister, you didn't get cut. You are normal down there. And I'll tell everyone why. Okay, this is a little better. That wind's just ripping out there. Let me tell you why the boys are a little swollen down there, if you know what I mean. It's that time of year, especially Sully was showing some studly attitudes. It was time to get them snip snipped. So we got that taken care of, but when we went down to the vet, Rooster didn't have both of them that came down. And to go in there looking, it's a big surgery, whatnot. So we're gonna give him another year which means this summer pasture situation will be different because we can't keep mares and a yearling stud colt together. So we'll have to keep horses um, up at different times or things like that, and we still want Rooster to have pasture time. We'll work around it. That's why they're turned out, and specifically, that's why they get to be in the pasture so that they can move around. And my dad put Sid in there with them because Sid's a little bit of a buggy-wuggy, and he will keep them moving their feet a little bit. So they just need to move around. This is totally normal. We see it all the time. It's been about four or five days since they got cut, so swelling is totally normal. Um, it will go down, and they have been treated, whatnot. But yeah, update on the boys. Can you believe how gentle Kenny got? He had that halter on, and we had to go back to Wickenburg for about a week, and then we made a trip to Flagstaff again. So he had a week off wearing that halter, went and brushed on him, and literally after that day, which would have been his third day handling with a one-week break, I was able to take the halter off because he was so gentle. So that just goes to show, I think, the Pitzer bloodlines and specifically Frosty bloodlines. So Frosty's registered name is Sunfrosted Redbuck. He is the dad of Poppy and Kenny and he was at Black Diamond Ranch, but he has now passed away, which is a shame. There's one last crop of babies that will be born this year, so if you want a colt as gentle as Kenny, you're going to want to get in contact with Black Diamond Ranch and check that out. Well, that covers the main things. I really just wanted to bring everyone up to speed with the yearlings because so much happens with those little guys in such a short amount of time, and they've changed so much. We do have other horses on the property. Let's go face the wind one more time, give everyone a cookie, and give them a quick hi. If there's something to be said, I'll let you know because there are a couple horses that we do have big plans for, and then there's some other horses that might be available to one of our YouTube subscribers if interested, so we'll talk about that when we get there. I had told Sid I'd give him a cookie since I didn't give him any of the total equine. Okay, now we'll check on the others that are close to these guys. Have a so. Thank you. Okay, butters, can you just not wait? And we all, we got one guy, he always wants me to give you a cookie, so there you go. Butters and Titan and Lollipop. Okay, and I know there's someone else in here. Uh, Bubbles. We'll wait for Bubbles. Here you go, Bubbles. Okay, that's all these guys. We'll move to the other side over there and say hi to the other ones. Because Rooster is still technically a stud, we got a lot of the mares on this side and a few geldings just to kind of keep things separated. So we'll say hi to everyone on the other side. We got Bones napping. Want a cookie? Bones is making lots of progress in the rope, and so we'll have to show that off. We can. Garth, good old boy. He's the one gelding over here. Then we got Poppy Seed. So Poppy Seed and Kenny have the same dad. And Poppy Seed is also making progress in the rope area. And then we got Summer. Summer is related the closest to Shorty. And she's a four-year-old mare. She's putting in some time on her. Over in this pen, we got Miss Rosie Girl. You guys haven't seen a lot of Rosie. You want a cookie? And then we got Shorty, the king. <laughs> He's kind of just here because he got a new set of shoes. Thanks, Cisco. 
and maybe I'll rope on him a little bit. But Rosie is a special one. I roped in a special guest to tell you about Rosie. Uh, this is Rosie. We'll be offering her for sale next week. Rosie, uh, she's very, very, very gentle. She's not a real big horse. She'll be a perfect kid's horse, family horse. Uh, I think you can do just about anything on her. Uh, she's just a sweet little mare, and she's just real pretty to look at, too. So if you would uh, interested in her or whatever, uh, we'll have the details coming, and you can look at her uh, next week and maybe own her too so good luck well, she is a sweetheart and we will be so excited to get you some more info about her she gets to hang out in here with old shorty boy oh yeah good rosie we just have a few more horses to say hi to and one mule hi billy and fred what's happening okay let me show you something you see this See how it's not latched? See how we have it tied? Yeah, that's for a reason, because old Mr. Fred, he's an escape artist, and he got out. And me and Cisco watched him open the gate. So, we have to tie it. Otherwise, Fred lets himself out, and that's a no-no for the dad's lawn. Huh, Fred? Okay, got cookies for you guys. Here you go, Billy. Sweet girl. You could be Fred's buddy. Hey, be nice to him. There you go, Fred. Good boy. Okay, now we got a horse right here. This is Flo, and I want to tell you about Flo for a second. This is Flo, and Flo is in a situation where he needs some help, and maybe I can help someone and someone can help me. I just want to make sure that at the end of this, Flo finds a great home. So I used to own Flo when, back when he was a five-year-old. I bought him seven years ago from the Pitzer Ranch sale, resold him as a rope horse to Johnny, the guy that keeps um, Flo and Maverick on our place. But within the last year, Flo sustained an injury to his P1 back hind leg, uh, the left side, and he's no longer rope horse sound. He should not be roped on, and he should probably not be used for anything that requires a lot of running and stopping and fast movements. In fact, the vet said trail horse only. He's sound enough that the quality of his life will be good if he's a trail horse. But if he could find a home where he can go take it easy and go on a few trail rides here and there at a walk, he would love that and that would be the best home for him. With all that being said, he is the most gentle, sweet boy. He's perfect on the trails. He likes to walk out. He's definitely a go-getter. He's going to be in the front of the group, but he's safe. He'll take you anywhere you want. He's going to go out alone or in a group. There's nothing funny to him. This horse is solid. If it wasn't for this injury, he would be worth a lot of money. And Johnny is asking a good home is a musk and a, just a small rehoming fee to cover some of the costs. But other than that, Flo is looking for a home and he could be yours. You could have one heck of a trail horse for a very discounted price if you're okay with him not being sound. I just want to say that so that there's no misunderstanding in the future he's not sound we're not representing him as sound and some might call him a crippled but that doesn't mean your crippled can't go on a walk every now and then but um and he can still have a good quality of life so we're hoping to find flow a good home if that's something you're interested in and you have a small budget but you're okay with the horse that has an old injury go ahead and shoot me an email or send me a text give me a call i'll get you in touch and we can get this set up because i personally would feel really good if flow went to a good home There you go, Flo. Along with Flo, Johnny has one other horse, Maverick. Do you guys remember Maverick from our channel? We actually sold Johnny Maverick, and it was a perfect fit. Um, I ran out of cookies, so we're going to grab him a little handful of Totally Coin as well. Hi, Maverick. You're looking good, buddy. Flo wants his... No flow. Wow! Look at this wind! It's blowing poops everywhere. That is about as much wind as I would like to handle today. If you didn't see a horse that you know we have, it's because they're out at the pasture right now. So when we get back from pictures, trust me, we'll get all caught up with that. We have plenty of pasture time and switching horses out. Come along with us to the Pitzer sale. It's going to be different and unique this year. I'm switching up the format, and I can't wait to share that with you. So subscribe and hit that notification bell, and we'll catch you on the next video. Come along to Pitzer's with us.
what's gonna happen at pictures. We're not buying any horses. We're not buying any horses, but we're still gonna have fun. <laughs> Ready? We gotta run. Okay. Yeah. Today. Are we turning?